questions about CBD lately. What is it? Who's taking it? And does it really work? But perhaps the most important question we need to ask, is it safe? CBS 4's Lauren Pastrana takes us to a lab testing CBD products to find out. <laughs> So we see a lot on the CBD side as those heavy metals contaminations. At Evio Labs in Davie, quality control is the name of the game. This is another LCMS8060 that we use for testing pesticides. They don't make or sell CBD products here. They test them to make sure they're safe for consumers. This is our extraction lab. Um, in here is pretty much where all the, the magic happens, you can say. Teams of chemists are working, sometimes seven days a week, to keep up with the demand. The lab tests both cannabis and CBD products and business is booming. Well, last year we did about 35,000 tests. This year we've done about 71,000 tests through the end of this month. Chris Martinez is the co-founder and president of Evio Labs Florida. He says until recently, there was very little regulation of the hemp and CBD industry. In fact, some products being billed as containing CBD actually had no CBD at all. You want to see how much CBD is in the product on the hemp side. And you want to see that there's little to no THC in the product. And then you also want to see that there's no contaminants in it. So no pesticides, no solvents, no microbial issues. The lab creates a full report and sends it back to the supplier, and consumers should be able to request a certificate of analysis to ensure they're getting what they paid for. State lawmakers recently passed legislation that would mandate anyone in the hemp industry have their products tested at labs like this one. The state is taking a, a, a very strong position on the hemp side of this to regulate it to make sure that if you're buying product from Florida, it's going to be tested at a very high level to a gold standard, and then that product, you know, will then be dispensed throughout the, the U.S. People are seeing CBD all over the state of Florida being sold. It's not being regulated. It's dangerous for the consumer not knowing what's in the products. Florida Agriculture Commissioner Nikki Freed, a vocal supporter of the state's medical cannabis industry, says CBD has the potential to be a $3 billion industry for the state, but quality and safety is key. The lab testing is going to be essential, not just for CBD, but also on the medical marijuana side. Uh, you know, we're still waiting for the Department of Health to put out their third-party testing rules. We're going to put out hours for CBD products. Uh, everything is going to be, have to be tested. Patients are catching on. People who are making these products are catching on and realizing that their regulation is coming. And when I say coming, it's coming within the next few months. Lauren Pastrana, CBS 4 News Tonight.